Okay. Yep. Okay. Can you guys hear me? You're good. All right. Well, I think the key is, is I've got two seniors that are ready to um, address you people. And uh, this was their night. And, and honestly, this is their team. So I'm going to, um, I'm not going to have much of an opening statement besides to say that uh, what I'm really good at is picking people. Um, I've always been good at that, thankfully. And I hope you saw that by making me making Jalen stay and me bringing Carly here, um, really good people that brought this program exactly where we are. All right, I'll go ahead. Congratulations on the on the victory. Uh, it seemed like you guys could get whatever you wanted inside. Uh, how were you able to have so much success inside against Duke today? I mean, they were trying to zone you to make you shoot the outside shot. You still kept uh, having success. Yeah, I give a lot of credit to the perimeter players. They really decided that they were going to take away our perimeter game. And we have an unselfish group. Um, and so when they were really extended, we were able to have openings in the paint. Um, and we've kind of prided ourselves all year that um, you, you can't just take away one thing because we'll go to something else. And once our guys settled into the zone, we, we, we talked a little bit about how it was different than some of the practice guys we've been playing against. Uh, they were just fine. And, and you showed the versatility of the offense because uh, you have some more perimeter shooting struggles today, although he did hit a few. And but you were able to still have a lot of success with that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, you can't you can't be 13 and five because you shot well. Right. You've got you've got to be um, you have to have the record we're having because of you have a lot of different things that, that you can go to. And today they were really um, trying to take away and, and extend our uh, extend off our arc. Um, and so we had to we had to hurt them inside and our guys are willing to do that. So we've had to win a lot of different ways. Um, and that's been on display all year. It was just another one of those games, I guess. Michael, go ahead. Hey, coach, congratulations on the win. It, it, that was another really quality game um, for Anya. Um, how much upside do you think uh, she has uh, going forward for the rest of this year and um, in the years beyond? You know, Anya's living the living proof that if you put a dedicated work in, in the offseason, both in terms of your adversity response and, and your skill development, um, you're going to have a better year than you had previously. And that kid put a lot of time into both of those areas, being able to be quicker to forget bad plays and, and quicker to get through adversity, um, as well as be better with her feet, with her pivots, um, extending a range a little bit. Um, and so, you know, as much as these kids will, are, we're not even close to being done, we hope with our year, um, we know that off season is a time where, where, where you earn nights like this. So we'll, we'll get back to it with her in the off season. Thank you. Evan, go ahead. Hey coach, uh, I think they said about the third quarter that the, the attendance was 5,230. Um, went back and looked through and, and that was the, the most uh, for your tenure so far. And you'll see just, you know, describe the atmosphere, I guess, of, you know, last year having COVID and I mean, your team mostly sophomores and you've got the transfers. I mean, this for most of them was their first real UNC Duke at Carmichael with fans. Just, you know, describe the atmosphere, I guess. Yeah, it was really great. I mean, I give we sort of joke that that Meg's director of ops is, is, is responsible for the student section and I'm responsible for everybody else. And we looked at each other before the game and we said we both brought our people. Um, you know, this team has really just developed a following. I think they appreciate how hard these guys play and how together they play. So it's a, it's a beautiful product um, and they couldn't become the team to watch. Uh, so I, I just told them in there when I was with our group that, you know, I don't do a good job always kind of taking it, taking things in. I kind of move to the next thing a little quickly. Um, but I wanted them to take in the fact that there were over 5,000 people there um, that were that were watching them put their work in, and it made for a, a special environment for sure. And then kind of just, you know, going back to Littlefield and how you guys have had the history, you know, at Princeton, and then you come to UNC, and then she follows. Throughout the game, you know, she's diving for loose balls, setting off ball screens to set up buckets for pool, diving for rebounds. Just what is she as a player that you just loved and, and wanted her to come back and follow you to UNC? Yeah, I mean, Carly's a kid. I just have always loved watching bas her, her play basketball since she was in, in high school and in, in AAU. I mean, I've seen her kind of in all, all parts of her journey. And, you know, she leads with relentlessness. She has a great respect for both sides of the ball. Um, and no one's going to outcompete her. And when your first line of attack, the ball's in her hands the most, and she's your first guy who slows the ball on the defensive end, if she's your, your toughest kid and your, your, your best competitor and your most relentless, your team's going to be really good because you've got to kind of follow that. Um, and that's why when I took this job, I was secretly, I was so sad because I, I felt like I, I, I was missing out on two years of coaching Carly Littlefield because she's I'm kind of a, one of those really special kids. And so when I, when I got her back, um, I, I, I couldn't have imagined that, that it would go this well because of how, you know, how well this particular group has played together. Um, but she's just a catalyst for that. You know, I, I think there were people who thought I just brought her with me. Um, 
And I think after everyone watched her for about two minutes, they said, oh no, she's every bit as good as should be here. So, um, you know, I, I have, I, I love her like she's my own. So this has been a really hard week for me. And I told the guys before we started the week, I said, this is a really hard week for me. So I need you guys. I need you to lock in and, and let the noise out. Cause I'm, I'm having a tough time doing that. And I've cried more this week than probably I've ever cried. Um, but to see her shine tonight was, was just heartwarming to say the least. Thanks, guys. Congrats on the win. Thanks. Um, do you have anything else for Coach Banghart, and then we'll go to players? Coach, I want to ask about Anya. You said a couple of games ago that she was banged up, and obviously she took a nasty spill, and I saw something wrapped around her stomach at times. Is she doing okay? Yeah, you know, this is a t time of year we're all kind of beat up. I think, um, you know, Jalen's not fully cleared, obviously. <laughs> That's why I wasn't able to – I wasn't allowed to start her on senior night. I was only supposed to play her a, a small a minute here or there. Um, so the minute lasted a little bit longer, perhaps. But, um, you know, I think that we're all a little beat up. Um, and they do an awesome job taking care of themselves physically. They do a lot of recovery. We spend a lot of time in treatment. Um, so yeah, she's just going to have to battle through the rest of these kind of th these injuries and, and things. Um, you know, there's a difference between playing hurt and playing injured. She's playing hurt. She's not. She's not. She's not fully injured yet. Thank God. So we'll just we'll keep trying you to. You a team with this mo much momentum going into March before. Uh... You know, I, every team's different, honestly. RL at Princeton, we went, you know, we obviously were 30 and 0 one year and we basically were 25 and something most years. So we always had momentum going into March. But, you know, I like this team kind of, you have ebbs and flows of the season and it's going to, we're going to be a tough out because of how they compete, how they play together and how many weapons we have and how locked in they are to our defensive game plan. So uh, I, I do feel good about, I'm less worried about the matchup, although that's always very important. Um, I just think this team has deserved a host to play in front of Carmichael again. And um, I hope they get to do that. Thank you. All right. Thanks, everybody. We're going to hear my guys. And, um, everybody, can you please check and make sure that you are muted if you're not asking a question? Um, Jalen, why don't you give a few thoughts on the game and on senior day, and then we'll take some questions for you. Yeah, I mean, it was a joy to play. Like I was telling everybody else, like the moment was so surreal. Surreal, excuse me. Um, love playing in front of the fans. You know, they've been with me through every – Every year, it's been five years now, so just playing in front of them again for the last time. Hopefully not the last time, but um, it was it was just a great moment. All right, Michael, you want to start? Sure. Hey, Jalen, congrats on the win. Um, Courtney said earlier this week that being around you has made her a better person. Uh, when she says that, what does that mean to you? It means a lot. You know, I actually look up the coach. She, she inspires me. Um, she always talks about how positive I am but she's she's literally almost the same person um I think we were made for each other and I'm so glad that she came here and I got to play for her um when she first got here she questioned if I would stay or not but I'm like I, I was already in before but I really didn't have an option to stay she kind of told me I was staying but like I had no problem with that I was already planning on staying so thank you hey, hey, Jalen, what, were your, what were your emotions when those two jumpers went in in the fourth quarter Honestly, I was just, I was so proud of myself, just to everything I've been through, um, that I stuck with it. I mean, most people can't, you know, kind of go through the things that I went through. So just having that, having those shots fall for me was just great. Cause you know, I've always been a sharp shooter. You know, I, I, I kind of think I'm a guard, but you know, so yeah, it was, it was just a great moment. Has that jumper always been there? Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, Evan, go ahead. Hey, Jalen, uh, congrats on the game. You, Like you said, your, your career, you've been through it all. What does it mean to end your career getting your season high seven points in front of over 5,000 people in a, in a UNC Duke game? It means a lot. You know, UNC Duke is always like a big game. And um, it honestly just felt like another game to me this time. But, you know, just beating Duke anytime is great. Um, I just want to thank my teammates because, you know, nothing would be possible without them. And, like, every day we grind in and out. Um, and we're so connected. And that's just why I think we just – are so great now because we just play together and we play to win. And then just, you know, your thoughts on your, your fellow senior Littlefield going off for her first double double on senior night. She's kind of your Swiss Army knife, does oh, it all. Double double? Yeah. <laughs> oh, and, and you know, like just what does she bring to your team that can really help you guys, you know, coming up in these next few games? Car brings a light, honestly. Um she's she's so she plays both sides of the floor, which is like great. You don't really find too many players that will like dig in and dive in to play both sides of the floor. So I know I've, I've always like respected her for that. Um, and then she's just, she's just a leader. I mean, I'm, I'm glad coach brought her here with me. Um, she's been a great captain. 
Um, and you know, she just brings like that edge. Like she, I know y'all saw it today. Like she's down on the floor, just doing the little things, little field, <laughs> but just, just doing the little things that we need. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Shailen. <laughs> Thanks, Shailen. All right, we've got Carly Littlefield. Carly, if you could give a few thoughts on senior day, that would be great, and then we'll take questions. Um, like Coach and Jalen already kind of touched on, the crowd tonight was amazing. Uh, my family was able to be here as well as my high school coaches, and we killed Duke. So there's nothing much, there's like nothing more I could ask for um, on my senior day. Michael, go ahead. Hi, Carly. Congratulations on the win. I listened to your interview with Jones and Adam on the Carolina Insider podcast. How do you think wrestling pigs helps you all out on the basketball court? <laughs> um, I mean, if you saw my diving form, I kind of, if you have to dive at a pig like that. And so I kind of view the ball as a pig. Um, Got to grab it with two hands. Pigs are slippery. Balls are slippery. So there was a lot of um, crossover, especially on defense. Cool. Thank you. uh evan yeah carly uh just kind of uh elaborate i guess on, on your relationship with coach Banghart, starting out at princeton and then and then following her uh for your last year at um i was obviously crushed when she told me that she was leaving to come here um and then i never in a million years thought i'd be able to reunite with her but somehow opportunity presented itself it was kind of the silver lining of the pandemic and i can't say i can't even put into words the kind of impact she's had on me um, I view her as my role model. She's such a strong female leader and she's done so much for me. She's given me two opportunities at two incredible schools and yeah, really enough can't be said. I love coach Banghart. Yeah. And, and today, you know, you kind of did it all. You got rebounds, assists, then off ball screens. Uh, what do you, I guess, pride yourself in? You're kind of like a Swiss army knife kind of a player. Um, I think I get the most excited about playing defense, um, because I know how annoying it can be if somebody D's you up well. And so I think I definitely get myself going there first. Um, all the dirty plays, like taking charges, diving on the floor. I think that's where I start my game. And then I just love getting my teammates involved and seeing them succeed. And so I definitely start there. And then my points follow sometimes. Sometimes they don't. Um, I do whatever. I do whatever's needed. And then real quick, uh, were, you, were you trying to go for that last rebound there late in the fourth quarter to secure that first career double-double? I honestly had no idea that I was that <laughs> I was close to a double-double. Um, balls were falling my way today. Uh, I knew I had a lot of rebounds, but I didn't know I had that many. And so it's incredible I got a double-double on my senior night. Thanks. Congratulations. Thank you. RL, go ahead. Hey, Carly, congratulations on the game. And I know this is senior day for you, but I know also you're hoping to come back at the NCAA, grant you another year. What do you know about that? Um, not much. I know that I've written a petition to them, so I've just been waiting to hear back. Um, don't know much more than that. I wish I did, but still hoping that this wasn't my last time in Carmichael. Yeah. What does it say about the versatility of, of your team's offense that, you know, when the perimeter shots maybe aren't falling the last couple of games, you guys still went impressively? Um, I think coach and Jay both touched on this, but just being connected. Uh, we know that we're not a one dimensional team. We know we don't just need threes to win. And so I think it goes to both coach using practice time to really build out our skills. And it also goes back to us being connected. If somebody misses a shot, all four of us, the four rest of us are there to give them a high five, kind of pick them up. And so we pride ourselves in not just being one dimensional. And then we also know that our defense is always going to be there. And we know if we get stops, um, a lot of times you have a good chance to win. And you, you guys still managed to get inside when they packed in that zone. How were you able to do that? Uh, I think just because we have so many people who can light it up from three that we draw them out to the perimeter. And then Anya did a great job sealing inside, Liz did a great job sealing inside. And so I think it started with us having a lot of threats from three. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else for Carly? All right. Thanks, Thank Carly. You guys. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Dana. If anybody didn't record and you need the recording, just let me know, okay?